we're going to implement a type called replace. It takes in some input and then a from and a to, and we will, it will replace the string from with to once it's given. So it's a little easier if you see an example. So we're given this input types are fun, and then we're saying the from is fun, and the to is awesome. So we're going to replace fun to awesome in this input and return that. So the expected is types are awesome. Yeah? Yeah. I love these kinds of things because you. when I first look at something like this, I'm like, no way that's possible. But it's totally possible. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. So we need a, of course, we need a generic uh, constraint. We need a T here. Oh, let's see. Uh, yep, there we are. So, of course, we need a generic constraint here. We need a T. Um, where, oh, yeah, and then uh, we should probably, like, I'll add them in for you. Uh, from string and then to, oops, to extend string. We should probably extend string on that one as well. Oops. Got to have that bracket there. Okay. So this is where we get started. What do you think? He's going for it. He so uh, we're using the same because we need to essentially look up the from inside T. Mm -hmm. uh, we use that and for and maybe extends within it as well. So let's just get the go. Um, T extends. Yep. Um, so we're looking for bar uh, within there. Yeah, so we'll, we'll use the inferencing sort of thing again, except we can map from a whole, like, I think the things we've seen before have matched an entire, like, just one string, but you can also match on larger globs of, of strings, sort of. So if we do this, and then we, like, infer tail here, what this is saying is, check the string, and if it starts with from, you know, then, then yeah. lop it off and give me tail. And then from here, we can say, like, uh, we can do something with tail. Um, oops, we need to put a question mark there. And then uh, we'll just return t, I think, is what it tells us to do otherwise. Well, if, you, if you're locking off and you're returning tail, then we need to replace the from with the to. Mm, mm -hmm. um, but this only, this only caters for the fact that the lookup is the first, is at the start. Um, yes. Because it's not handling these where, look up, uh, where the lookup is in between. So um, uh, here's where you get into the nest of ternaries, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so we're going to have to go deeper and find like a, like the next the section to recurse in. I do want to show you one thing, though. There's in the tests up here, we have a, a like a, a pretty nice case that we can just exit early out of, which is this one. Um, so I'm going to add that up yeah. here if from extends uh, empty string. Uh, let's do this. Then you just we can just we can just return empty string. So we can kind of like yeah. get out early. Okay, but anyway, back to this. So so we where we are is the from is not available. It's 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 not inferred. So we're gonna do another extends here, yeah. right? basically that you go and for it well this is okay for it being at the end uh, and then you go to from uh, uh, to and then it. I think uh, t extends okay so let's let's go through it so so t extends from infer tail that's all good to entail yeah because we're gonna just replace it because we matched it but if it doesn't we're gonna infer infer head and uh, yeah, and then we can. This actually is shadowing the from. I think. Oh no, because it's not. So I think what we want to do here is infer. Um, we'll, we'll infer it's it's now we're going to be shadowing. It's another tail. But if we come here, then we get the head and we can recurse. You see? Oops, not form data from to. I think that will. I think that will. Basically cover that's us. Good, Replace. Infer head. So that's that's only going to pick the first character. Oh oh, you know what? Oh, was... We did this part up here backwards. <laughs> okay. Uh, if if it extends, if from extends that, then uh, we oh, just then you, yeah, we, yeah, yeah 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 yeah. I'm like, what is going on here? Okay. 
Let's see <laughs> if we can get rid of that syntax error. Yeah, this will pass. Okay, we, we got everyone passing, but this one. Let's take a look. So we're replacing uh, the from what is, is what going on empty string. What is going on here? Uh huh. Tail from two. So you're doing in. Mm hmm. T extends infer. Yeah. I think this. Doing in. Oh, oh, wait a second. T. That's what it is. I'm sorry. I led us astray. If we if from extends nothing, then we're not replacing anything, and we just return t because there's nothing to replace. Yep. We can just skip all the work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I made it way harder by trying to help. Okay. Yeah. But but that's what it is. There's another example that I found online. Um, so I'll re like rename this to replace zero. Um, let's grab this for alternatives too. So. What this one does, it starts in the same way with the generic constraints. It does this same thing, but it inf it does like a three stage infer in one shot. So it says infer the left, a from, and the right. So it yeah. will replace anything that's contained therein. The reason this works is that if there's nothing in front of the from, then the L will be an empty string. Same in reverse. If there's oh, if right. there's nothing because, at the end, this is the main match. Right, exactly. So like that's the main match, and because they're kind of uh, oh man, there's a word for this. They're uh, greedy or eager or something. There's a word like that to describe this kind of matching behavior. But yeah. if this if the from that we're matching on is at the beginning of the string, then L will just be an empty string, which kind of compiles down to nothing, or you could think of it as. And so that works for both of our cases. Yeah. So I thought this was a really elegant solution. However. Uh, if I, you know, when I did it by myself the first time, I definitely came to something just like what we have here. Um, cool. Well, I, I mean, I look at this. This is kind of confusing. Which <laughs> having, one? Having having this this nested here. This. Um, yes. The, uh, yeah, probably I, something I, we shouldn't do yeah. is like we should call this like tail two, and this can be like tail one, um, because they're not the same. In the in the false section, you can't ever access something that you inferred from the condition. Um, so it kind of. Uh, I, mean, I mean, more it's like the the recursion here because it doesn't feel like a recursive problem. Ah, okay, yeah, I see what you mean. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't intu intuitively. It doesn't seem like a recursive problem, and so the recursion here seems a bit complex. Well, that's what this one's for. Yeah, this, this is very clean. Yeah, yeah. it is super <laughs> clean. Cool. All right, let's keep going. <laughs>